Have you ever been to the Exterra Hall of Fame? It's in the forest, amongst the trees, alongside a river and some sweet single track. This year's inductee grew up in a place just like it, in a backwoods house that was part of a bohemian settlement in northern Michigan. Growing up, he'd chop wood to heat the house. The process of felling, limbing, bucking up trees, then hauling, splitting, and stacking would take all summer and fall. And on the weekends, he and his family would help build houses for neighbors. Community, a love for the great outdoors, hard work, grit, it was all he ever knew. You could say he was born to Xterra. After college, he moved to Colorado, went to a pawn shop, and bought a rally mountain bike for 400 bucks. The rest, as they say, is history. In July of 2000, a 21-year-old named Josiah Midaw side-stroked his way through the first Xterra race in Keystone, Colorado, and thus embarked on his childhood dream to be great at something. And he was great from the get-go. I've been racing Xterra since 2000. I, I raced um, my first world championship in 2001. Since 2021, I've been doing this a long time. I, I went pro in uh, 2003. So this has been a, a full career for me. You know, I, I hesitate to say it's a, a farewell tour, but it, it definitely kind of feels like that a little bit. And to have my kids um, come out and race this with me, I do feel a little bit like it's coming full circle. Um, and to see them, you know, I'm, it's more exciting for me to be the father and you know just somebody excited to watch my kids and, and doing something that I enjoy doing and feeling that excitement from their perspective uh, is pretty exciting for me. He won the overall amateur Xterra National Championship in 2002, the 20 to 24 division world championship that same year, went pro in 2003, finished third in the elite race at Xterra Worlds in 2004, and has been the fastest American off-road triathlete ever since. He's collected 36 career Xterra championship race wins in his illustrious 20-year career, an unprecedented 15 Xterra US National Championships became the first American to win Xterra Worlds in 15 years in 2015 and has been the top American in Maui 12 times, including nine straight years from 2011 to 2019. He's not just mid-awesome at Xterra either. He's also won USAT Long Course Nationals, Winter Triathlon Nationals, World Fat Bike Crowns, dozens of National Snowshoe Championships, and Ultimate Mountain Challenge competitions. He's done Spartan races and the Eco Challenge. He is arguably the greatest American endurance athlete of his generation. He's an even better person, friend, coach, brother, husband, and father. And now, he says, it's time to turn his full attention to them. I've been watching Xterra my whole life. Some of my earliest memories from watching my dad is running across the finish line in Tahoe, watching him exit the swim, watching him transition, always been super fun. I've always traveled with him, uh, especially to Ogden. Uh, we went to the World Championships in Maui multiple times. Uh, I think it was 2015, we traveled the world with him. I went to France, my brother went to New Zealand, my sister went to Costa Rica with him. We all kind of got to choose our spot to go and watch. Yeah, it's become normal to go to races and watch races and compete in races that um, it's kind of a lifestyle for our family. It was super awesome. Uh, we got to travel all over the world and most of our vacations were there for a race and we had m not many vacations that we didn't have a race. So it was super fun to travel everywhere. We take it for granted a little bit, um, that, that sense of family that Xterra is. and. Yeah, in my case, it's it's a literal uh, sense of the word because these kids have grown up with Xterra and now they're racing Xterra. Um, so it's it's cool. And, and a lot of the athletes I coach, you know, they're talking about, oh, I'm so excited to be back with the Xterra family. And so that's that's what the theme of the weekend is going to be, I think. The pandemic really put things in perspective. That was supposed to be my last year, 2020. Um, but I really wanted to go out on my own terms and I didn't want to be forced out. And that's something I've always thought. I don't want to be forced out of the sport, you know, because I'm not strong enough, I'm not fast enough, or, you know, life circumstances, I didn't have sponsorship. And 
So no matter what I told myself in 2020, I don't care if I don't have any sponsors. Um, I want to do this my way um, one more year, have one more like really solid crack um, at all these big championship races, the world championship as well, um, and see if I can't uh, you know, have one last really good year that I'm really proud of. One thing is for sure, Josiah has already made his family proud. He's made America proud, and he's touched the lives of so many people in the global Xterra community. The lasting images I have in my mind from your career so far is the 2015 Xterra World Championships where you won after 15 years of trying. But even more than that is the year you had four flat tires ran into the bike finish transition, carrying your, your bike, your tubes, and your tires, and then continued to finish the run. In 20 years of Xterra, you never dropped out of a race. That tells me a lot more about you than all the, all the wins that you've ever had and truly embodies the Xterra spirit. Congratulations on being inducted into the Xterra Hall of Fame. And by the way, that doesn't mean you can't show up and race again next year. Hi, Josiah from Morocco here. Congratulations for this Hall of Fame. For sure, it's well-deserved. You are a true athlete with a great spirit. I was so lucky to battle with you for many years. And now I hope uh, we will have the opportunity to work together in the future in many other projects. Good luck, bye my friend. Josiah, you beast. Congratulations on a fantastic career. You were literally the spirit and embodiment of Xterra. Um, you were my favorite athlete to lose against, uh, such a good friend, great competitor um, and every single year you won the Halloween contest um, in Maui. Uh, congratulations and enjoy! Josiah, you're such a champion. You are um, everything that Xterra should be. You embody the culture of Xterra, the friendliness of Xterra, the grittiness of Xterra. Um, I've had the pleasure of training with you, racing with you and getting to know your family. Um, one of my most favorite things about the way that you live your life is how you bring your children and family along with you and how you take each one of your kids to a different race every year and have them experience the world of Xterra in different countries. Uh, that to me is what Xterra is about and I'm so uh, proud and honoured to call you a friend as well as a competitor and uh, yeah you've done amazing things in this sport and you inspire all of us. I was uh, passed by many races over the years but none more polite when asking for trail than Desire Madal. It was an honour uh, and a privilege to share trail, um, a career well raced. Congrats to you and your family mate. Uh, Josiah has been one of the athletes I've looked up the most. He's a great friend. He's taught me a lot. I've done training, little training camps up with him up in Beaver Creek, Colorado. And an amazing guy. And he has some amazing kids that are coming up as racers too. I don't know them so well, but I've seen them racing. And I think it's, he's a great example of an Xterra racer and of an athlete as being a father too. I'm a father too. So seeing him do what he does and with his family and a racer and the level of racing he is is incredible you know, being a vegetarian too and I think he's a perfect sample to follow and he might not race so much more but he'll always be around racing you know. <laughs> uh, Josiah congratulations I can't imagine anybody more deserving of you than this award uh, it's been an honor racing against you for the last 14 years uh, look forward to some more battles I know it won't be the end of it for all for either of us I uh, you're uh, such a positive influence and to be uh, an athlete coached by you and trying to compete against you at the same time just shows the type of character you have as a person. Hey Josiah, congratulations. It's been a real honor watching your journey over the years. Your determination and discipline have been amazing. Good job. Especially your ability to turn uh, fail failures and setbacks into stepping stones. Xterra has been a real good fit for you. Good job, buddy. And I just want to say that uh, I know that this extreme sport has taken so much time, energy, and discipline. Um, and in spite of all that, you have been able to keep your family focused. You've been such a good dad and husband. I'm so proud of you, love you, uh, and can't wait to hear what's next. 
congratulations.